Um, so between last time and now, there's been a lot going on in terms of meetings, both meetings amongst my modern languages colleagues in St Hilda's, uh, meetings in college, meetings in the faculty, um, and assorted other items happening. So we've had elements of postgraduate admissions going on at the same time, um, a lot of reference writing. So bits and pieces of other stuff have now started to creep back into the frame, though the main focus has still been the undergraduate admissions. So we're now at the stage of all the decisions having been made um, and indeed confirmed such that we're ready to send out, the, send out all the letters. In terms of the factors that come into play with the final decisions, it's a question of, as particularly with modern languages, most people have applied for two subjects. So let's say, I don't know, German and Greek, for instance. Um, so they have to be strong in both if that's the course they've chosen. Everybody who's been selected for interview and whom we've seen is really good. They're, they're going to be high achievers wherever they go. Um, so when we're making our decisions, it's very much on their particular suitability for the course we offer, the way we teach our course, um, and their potential to thrive specifically on that, um, and their, their talents. So it, it's, it's a juggling of those factors that means they're, they, their, be their interests are best matched to what we offer and we're best matched to what they're interested in. So it's, it's sort of that two-way process. Um, last time I was talking about those very difficult last decisions and it, it felt actually exactly as I described it when we had to do the final, the final cut um, and talk through, talk through everybody again, looking at all the pieces of evidence we'd had, their results in the interviews and in the tests in the context of the information we had in their UCAS form, their written work, etc. So look at everybody globally again um, and then decide who was going to be best suited to the course. Your attitude towards the people that you're selecting does shift during this period because they do become, they change from being the people that you're interviewing to very much being the people that you're going to teach next year. Um, and therefore you're, there's now a sense once you've selected them that right, this is the first year cohort. Being, as it were, in command of the selection process is a position that makes you feel a tremendous sense of responsibility but it's also a really great privilege. It's a wonderful opportunity that we have to see all these candidates and, and to select the very best of the best. Um, therefore, it's something that one does think about a lot and, and, and weigh heavily in one's mind. In terms of the responsibilities of my job, it's up there with uh, you know, the top couple of tasks, admitting people at one end of the spectrum and then examining people at the other end of the spectrum. Um, they're the, the two biggest responsibilities because it, it's dealing with people's intellectual lives and their intellectual futures.